is Gunnery Sergeant Linneman, the instrument repair technician for Marine Band San Diego, and your Master of Ceremonies for the evening. On behalf of the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General Ryan Heritage, welcome to our annual Christmas concert, where Marine Band San Diego will take you on a virtual sleigh ride through some of our favorite holiday tunes. Please welcome to the stage the officer in charge and principal director of Marine Band San Diego, Chief Warrant Officer 2, Alex Panos. Welcome to tonight's concert. In particular, welcome to 
Who do we got out there? What company's out there? India Company! Or, uh, India Company. When, uh, when y'all graduate? February It's a long time. It's a long way away. All right, well, for tonight, you're going to have a good time. Is that right? Yes, sir! Outstanding. And a very special welcome to our virtual audience watching across the country. You know, this year has been a trial for all of us, so we at Marine Band San Diego wanted to spread some socially distanced holiday cheer in an effort to lighten the mood. And because the recruiting machine never sleeps, we're going to be taking some questions from our online viewers as we jingle along the way. Operators are standing by. Speaking of which, sir, uh, we have some questions coming in right now. All right, what do we have? All right, sir. First up, from Red's looking sus, we've got, how do I join the Marine Corps? Oh, this is a great question and a very important one to start with. It's easier now more than ever to contact the Marine Corps recruiter. You can go on marines.com or you can dial 1-800-MARINES. Also, if you're in the Facebook or Instagram, you can search for United States Marine Corps. Or, if you're like me, an old school, you can just walk right into the Marine Corps recruiter's office and they will screen you to make sure that you are mentally, physically, and morally qualified to be a Marine. Now, musicians out there, there's one extra step for you. Once you meet those qualifications, they'll get you in touch with a Marine, a musician technical assistant, we call them MTAs, and they will audition you to make sure you're qualified musically as well. All right, sir, thank you for that. Uh, we have another one coming in. Uh, Sonic Bain asks, what was your favorite performance? Without a doubt, this concert right here, am I right? <laughs> Let's try that again. Seriously, this concert tonight. There we go. Okay, if I had to think back, 2015 I had the opportunity to go to France and play for the commemoration of Bella Wood, the World War I battle. We all know about Bella Wood, right? Yes, sir! That's an important one. And it was an honor getting to perform right there where Marines stood, fought, and died almost 100 years before me. And that was an interesting performance for me. Gunny, I think you have a memory, don't you? Yes, sir. Uh, when, I, when I was at uh, the second law band in Cherry Point, North Carolina, this was in 2004, we had the opportunity to go to Haiti and perform for the ambassador there. And it was just like you'd imagine it would be with you know butlers and champagne and a really nice house and, and everyone in tuxedos and everything, and that was fine. But uh, what really stood out to me about that was uh, the opportunity that we took to do an impromptu concert for some school children in a soccer field. And uh, just the ability to communicate through music and be musical ambassadors for the United States and for the Marine Corps was just an outstanding opportunity. Thanks, Kenny. What are we doing next? All right, sir. Next up, we've got a Christmassy twist on an old jazz standard. Featuring Lance Corporal Luis Mejia on trombone, coming at ya, this is Santa Claus is coming to Kansas one, City. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Santa Claus is coming to Kansas City, which was arranged by the now retired Gunnery Sergeant Adam Pesdek. Gunny Pesdek was a staff arranger at several Marine Corps bands, and, and I bring that up to, uh, to show some potential applicants out there that if music arrangement is a skill that you have, we can use it. Okay, sir, uh, we have another question coming in here. All right, let's do this. Croissant Cow asks, what is a typical day like? Typical day for the band is usually about 72 degrees, partly cloudy, and no chance of rain. Uh, hey, look, my jokes are a lot like Christmas presents. Some of you are not going to get them until you start laughing. Okay, so let's try this again. It's about 72 degrees, partly cloudy, and no chance of rain. Really though, a typical day for a Marine band usually starts with physical training to include the Marine Corps Martial Arts program, because we've got to keep up with that. Once we're done with that, we'll switch gears to the musical mission, which if there's not a performance that specific day, which could be a ceremony or a concert, we'll be preparing for those rehearsals and concert, or for those performances and concerts with our marching band, our concert band, our ceremonial band, and sometimes our smaller ensembles like our jazz band, rock band, brass band, which if I'm not mistaken, we have our brass band here ready to go right now. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Here at Marine Band San Diego, we don't only perform as a concert band or a marching band out there on the parade deck, but owing to the great talent that we have in our ranks, we're able to feature smaller ensembles like the one you see here, all performing in different styles. Coming up front right now is the Deck the Halls Brass Band, with their version of What Child Is This, arranged by our very own Sergeant McManaway. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a two-part question. Uh, how often do you travel, and do you ever deploy? Two very good questions. They're kind of related. Marine bands travel a lot, and it's it can be the local area, it can be within your state, it can be out of the state, or even out of the country, because both the marine message and the music message is getting transmitted through us to people who might not even know about either that the Marine Corps has a music program or that there's even a Marine Corps. For example, the band in Okinawa routinely goes all over Asia, South Pacific, Australia. Like I said earlier, I personally travel to France, Germany, Big Lemon's been to Haiti. And depending on which band you're in, someone travel more or less, but you will get to travel even if it's just in the local area or within your state. And the other question, deployments. Do Marine bandsmen deploy? Yes, they do. They actually do. And it should be said, though, that not all deployments are combat deployments. They're also humanitarian deployments and train deployments as well, mixed in with combat deployments. Uh, but just to give you a sampling, Governor Sergeant Lenneman has deployed to Iraq twice. I've deployed to Afghanistan, along with other Marines in the band. So because we are all Marines first and musicians second, we need to be ready to answer a nation's call anywhere in the world. All right, Gunny, what's next? Uh, oh, is that, you know what? This is my favorite. This is my favorite song. I'll take this one. All right. This next song is actually about a Marine that is deployed on Christmas Day. It's going to feature our piano player back here. I don't know if you can see him. I'll get out of the way in a little bit. Private First Class Jacob Abinante and our narrator, Governor Sergeant Lineman. Take it away. Before Christmas, he lived all alone in a one-bedroom house made of plaster and stone. I'd come down the chimney with presents to give and to see just who in this house did live. A strange sight did I see. No tinsel, no presents, not even a tree. No stocking by the fire, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures of a far distant land. Medals and badges, awards of all kind. A sobering thought soon came to mind. 
For this house was different, unlike any I'd seen. This was the home of a U.S. Marine. I'd heard stories about them. I had to see more. So I walked down the hall and I pushed open the door, and there he lay sleeping, silent, alone, curled up on the floor of his one bedroom home. He seemed so gentle, his face so serene. Not how I pictured a U.S. Marine. Was this the hero of whom I'd just read? Curled up in his poncho, a floor for his bed? His head was clean shaven, his face weather tanned. I soon understood this was more than a man, for I realized the families that I saw that night owed their lives to these men who were willing to fight. Soon around the nation, the children would play and grown-ups would celebrate on a bright Christmas day. They all enjoyed freedom, each month and all year. Because of Marines, like the one lying here, I couldn't help but wonder how many lie alone on a cold Christmas Eve in a land far from home. Just the very thought of it brought a tear to my eye. I dropped to my knees and I started to cry. He must have awoken, for I heard a rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom. I don't ask for more. My life is my God, my country, my core. With that, he rolled over, drifted off into sleep. I couldn't control it. I continued to weep. I watched him for hours, so silent and still. I noticed he shivered from the cold night's nice chill. So I took off my jacket, the one made of red, and covered this Marine from his toes to his head. Then I put on his t-shirt of scarlet and gold, with an eagle glove and anchor emblazoned so bold. And although it barely fit me, I began to swell with pride. And for one shining moment, I was Marine Corps deep inside. I didn't want to leave him, so quiet in the night. His guardian of honor, so willing to fight. But half asleep he rolled over, and in a voice clean and pure said, Carry on, Santa. It's Christmas Day. All is secure. One look at my watch and I knew he was right. Merry Christmas, my friend. Sever five and good night. <laughs> Let's keep it going for private first class Jacob, the keys of Anante.
Alabama. How about the man with the golden voice, Gregory Sergeant Justin Jingle Bells Leatherman? Let's hear it. Let's uh, look at some of those questions there, Gregory Sergeant. What All right, sir, a couple more coming in. Uh, we've got one here from, looks like, uh, Pancake Ninja. Pancake Ninja asks, uh, what educational opportunities exist for me in the Marine Corps? We have a couple opportunities. First one is tuition assistance program, and that is $4,500 per year to be used towards getting your degree while you are a Marine. We also have the post 9-11 GI Bill, which is 100% tuition and fees for most major public universities in the United States. And that is an amazing deal. Both are great. And in fact, we have a couple of Marines in the band who are using their tuition assistance right now, that money. So, good job, Marines. And uh, follow up, sir. Um, what 48 times 13? What's going on here? Oh, I recognize that username. Hey, check it out. Dad's going to be home in about 15 minutes. I'll help you with your homework then. But in the meantime, it's 624. <laughs> All right. Well, one of the quintessential elements of the holidays is the music we hear. Christmas music not only sounds good to our ears, but it paints a picture in our heads. It, it brings back memories. Our next selection is a veritable soundtrack to the season, including Christmas tunes such as Joy to the World, Deck the Halls, God rest you merry gentlemen, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Jingle Bells, you know them all. Marines, recruits, keeping our face masks firmly in place, please join in singing Leroy Anderson's A Christmas Festival. Remember to sing loud so mom and dad and everyone in our virtual audience back home can hear you.
right, did we all enjoy singing those classic Christmas carols? Yes, sir! All right, good. Well, we had fun playing them. All right. Uh, sir, looks like we have one more question coming in. I will take this one, sir. Thank you. Uh, AI asks, what's your favorite song? Well, I'm glad you asked, AI, because we have one more song tonight, and uh, we're certain y'all are going to know the words. With graduation looming on the very distant horizon for India Company, uh, we'd like to pay tribute to every Marine, past and present, with the playing of our favorite song, The Marine's Hymn. The Commandant of the Marine Corps has directed that all Marines present and those who have served honorably stand and sing the words to the first verse. On your feet. Please take your seats. All right. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, before you head back to the squad bays to get IT for having fun, do you want to hear one more? Yes, sir! I thought you would say that. Good. Well, following suit with this unconventional year, we've done some Christmas decorating to our final selection, but, uh, well, what Marine Band concert would be complete without the playing of our national march, The Stars and Stripes Forever? <laughs> Thank you. 
Wright. On behalf of the Commanding General, we'd like to thank you for joining us this evening. Whether in person or virtually, everyone here at Marine Band San Diego would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. We hope to see you again next year, hopefully all in person. Chief Warrant Officer Panos is going to stick around and answer any remaining questions. Uh, some rapid fire from our viewers at home. But in the meantime, please stay safe and remember, your United States Marine Corps remains Semper Fidelis. Drill instructors, you got it. I guess I'll fix it. All right, let's see what number we have. Next up, sir, uh, we got, does the Marine Corps have openings for string players? Ah, so the only string players we have employed are piano, but also electric bass and upright bass. Electric bass is what we're looking for, but upright bass is a plus if you do both. Now, as far as violin, viola, and cello, which is what I think you're talking about, Fleet Marine Bands traditionally do not hire them, but the President's own Marine Band does have a string section. So if you're good enough, you might want to audition for the President's own. What's All the right, Last one we got uh, is how, how difficult is boot camp? It's difficult. Boot camp is very, if it was easy, everyone would do it, right? That's how the saying goes. But if you have enough drive and you give it 100%, and you are, again, physically, mentally, and morally qualified to become a Marine, you will make it if you have a heart for it. And I think that's it for now, because you know what? I still have to help my daughter with her math homework. So, what we're going to do is wrap it up, say Merry Christmas, and Semper Fidelis. This is Recruit Rico, wishing my family a Merry Christmas. This is Recruit Rocha, wanting to wish my family and friends back home a Merry Christmas. Recruit Sierra would like to wish family and friends back home a Merry Christmas. Recruit Fermer wants to wish his family a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Recruit Godinez would like to wish his friends and family back home a Merry Christmas. From the recruits and drill instructors of Fox Company, I would like to wish you all a Happy Holidays.
Hey, the recruit Hutmaker, uh, wishing his friends and family back home a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Recruit Santana would like to wish his family and friends a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Uh, recruit Barajas, I'd like to wish my family back home a Happy New Year and a Merry Christmas. Recruit Marcinko would like to wish his family and friends back home a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is from the Drill Instructors and the recruits from Lima Company. Merry Christmas. I'm Private Davis, and I'd like to wish all my friends and family back home a Merry Christmas. I'm Private Pitcher, and I would like to wish my family and friends a Merry Christmas. Uh, Private Wilson, I'd like to wish all my friends and family back home a Merry Christmas. I'm Private Porter, and I'd like to wish my family back home a Merry Christmas. I'm Private Fan, I'd like to wish my friends and family back home a Merry Christmas. This is Recruit Britannia, wanting to wish my family and friends a Merry Christmas. Recruit Virueta wants to wish my family and friends a Happy Holidays. Recruit Lang, wanting to wish his friends and family back home a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Recruit Lukachin, just wanted to wish my family and friends back home a Happy Holidays. This is Recruit Howard, I just wanted to wish my friends and family back home a Merry Christmas. Recruit Lugo, wants to wish my family Happy Holidays, sir. Recruit Rahel, just wants to wish his family a Happy Holidays and a Happy New Year. This is Staff Sergeant Hollinsworth from the Drill Instructors and Recruits of Bravo Company. Wishing everyone a happy holidays. This is Recruit Martinez, wishing his family and friends back home a Merry Christmas. This is Recruit De Los Santos. I would like to wish all my family and friends a Merry Christmas. I'm Private Pitcher and I would like to wish my family. This Recruit Knight would like to wish his family and friends back home a Merry Christmas. This is Recruit Royce. I'm here to wish all my friends and family back home and my best friend in New York a happy Annika and Merry Christmas. This is Recruit Perry. I'd like to wish all my friends and family back home a Merry Christmas. This is Recruit Martinez, wishing his family and friends back home a Merry Christmas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. From the General Studies and Families of the Empire, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I just wanted to wish my family, everyone back home, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all my friends and family back home. I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to my family back home. I wanted to say Merry Christmas to my family.